Say goodbye to your credit card rewards. Big box retailers, led by Walmart and Target, are pushing for a bill in Congress to take away your hard-earned cash back and travel points to line their pockets. Senate Bill 1838 would enact harmful credit card routing mandates that would end credit card rewards as we know it. If you love your credit card rewards, visit handsoffmyrewards.com and tell them to oppose credit card routing legislation paid for by the Electronic Payments Coalition. Hello and welcome to The Paddock and the Pavilion with Stephen Wallace. In each show, Stephen will interview someone connected to the world of horse racing or cricket. The England cricket team headed down under in the winter of 1974 as holders of the Ashes. They had followed up their victory in Australia four years earlier with a drawn series at home in 1972. What was to follow in the six-test series was not expected. In our latest What Was It Like To podcast, I spoke to Dennis Amis, England's leading batsman at the time, about playing in a Boxing Day test at the MCG, along with his and the team's experiences in this dramatic series. What was it like to play a Boxing Day Ashes test match? Um, Well. Everybody dreams about playing against the, the Aussies and uh, especially in Australia, Melbourne, there's always 100,000 there. So uh, it's, it's quite a sight. Well, let's go back to your arrival down under. What did you think the, well, the, it was the MCC then or England's chances of retaining the Ashes when you arrived down under? Yeah, we, were, we, we started off uh, quite well. We uh, played at uh, Adelaide against South Australia. We played against Victoria. Uh, we all got uh, a chance. Batsman got a chance of uh, playing innings on on pretty good wickets, and um, the bowlers that all had it work out. I think we were we were feeling pretty high. We'd seen um, um, Dennis Lilly bowl off a short run because he'd got a bad back. We'd heard about Tomo eight ball overs in those days. Um, little did we know that uh, the worst thing you wanted was uh, from Tommy. Tomo and Lily in their pump was eight ball over. Six was far too much anyway. But to have eight. Uh, but anyway, we didn't know that then. And uh, Tomo was as quick, but he didn't bowl it very straight. So uh, maybe we got two or three to play in the over. And uh, uh, that was the sort of thinking. Dennis, we weren't quite sure he'd, he'd make it with a bad back. or we, Fingers crossed he wasn't going to make it. But uh, um, of course he did. And uh, that first test match at Brisbane, we played the, the uh, Queensland match the previous the previous game, um, previous days, and uh, it had been quite wet there. So the wicket had got wet and the test match wickets, because we played against Queensland, the test match wicket got a bit wet as well, um, damp. And, uh, um, but we were, we were pretty optimistic until uh, um, um, it was Brian Luckhurst and myself went to the wicket and he said, uh, uh, where's Dennis going? And he, he was to charge him back, charge him <laughs> back to the, to his long run up. And uh, the next few overs were the ball. It's, I think you can still see it on YouTube. That first ball from Tomo was was just short of a little bit straight past, straight past my nose. So um, the bounce was just amazing. And uh, um, I mean, Arthur Milton had said to me, remember Arthur Milton, the uh, Gloucestershire, what a great band. Uh, you are going back there. Yeah, Arthur had been to Australia in, in I, I, I can't remember, maybe the 50s, maybe. Uh, and uh, he said, you've got to stay leg side of the ball because of the bounce there. And that's exactly what uh, Greggy and Notty did. And they were our most two successful batsmen, the long and short of it. They stayed they stayed leg side of the ball because they're aiming at the off stump, getting big on you. And uh, um, I, I thought, well, yeah, OK. But I, I've, I've, I've come this far uh, playing the way I do. I'm, let, let's see how it goes. But, of course, I've got my finger broken there. Uh, uh, John Edwards got his ribs broken, didn't he? So they sent for the cavalry, and uh, we all thought that Basil Dolivera was the best one to to play uh, fast bowling. Uh, that he should have uh, been uh, nominated to to come out, and and, and instead um, uh, Colin Cowdery came, and uh, Colin uh, probably played uh, uh, as well as anybody uh, uh, after that. But uh, it was it was quite frightening at times. And uh, John Agnew said to me only recently, uh, when I say recently, in the last. Uh, 12 months, 18 months, um, he said, um, did you fear that you, you might get, get, get killed? And um, 
that one that uh, Fletch took on the on the head at Sydney in the fourth Test match. I mean, that was just just nicked his glove. Didn't take any pace off it. Just nicked it. Hit him on St George and the Dragon. Of course, no helmets in those days, and we we were, wore those caps, didn't we? we shot St George and the Dragon on, and it hit St George and the Dragon and went to cover. And he's, he's, staggering. <laughs> he's staggering all over the place. His legs are gone, and 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 the, all the Aussies are shouting, "Catch it!" because they they've heard just the you know they know it's nicked the glove. And Ross Edwards dives full length to try and catch it, picks it up on the half volley, and and Fletch still legs is going. He's all over the place, and uh, it wasn't. A, and Len Hutton was. I was sitting next to Len Hutton, the great Sir Leonard, and he said, "I've never seen anything like this." He said, "There was the body line," and he said, uh, "We re, we remember that, but this is headline." He said, "I've never seen anything like this." Well, I can't beat that for an introduction, Dennis. Um... You should have been going there with confidence, though, because you, in 1974, were the leading Test match run scorer, and you've sent me a photo where you you met Sir Donald Bradman. That's right. Yeah. No, I'd, I'd had a good a good year, and uh, um, um, coming off the back of that, you know, full of confidence. So when I was told by Arthur Milton, and uh, you saw Greg and Notty playing the way they did, staying leg side the ball, leg side the ball, get yourself in, you know, and once you get the the pace and the bounce, you know, you, you're a bit more confident and you can play it better. And of course, he was getting us out uh, pretty early on, so we weren't able to stay and sort that out. But um, I think that uh, because I'd had that success over that 12 months against ev- everybody and fast bowling and everything, that uh, I wanted to continue playing the way I, I had done. And I, you know, maybe should have prepared. If looking back on it now, I, I, I would I would have prepared differently and stayed. You know, come on, let's have short bowling in the nets before we left England. And and, and especially when we got to Australia, let's practice leaving the ball outside of them, staying leg side of the ball, like Greg and Nutty did. And I think that, uh, I, I, you know, I would I would have tried to have changed it. But uh, um, I felt that, you know, because I'd had such a good run in that 12 months in Test Match Cricket and was breaking uh, the, the most runs scored in the calendar year, that uh, I'd continue the way I'd got it, with, with the way the success had and gone. And in, in the first test, you uh, personally scored seven and, and 25. Was Thompson the fastest at that time you'd ever faced? Well, he, the bounce, uh, that's what did us all, really, apart from Greggy, who got, got 100, didn't he? Um, and, and Nutty later on in the series got two, the both of them got 200. Um, it was the bounce, you know, the speed, you know, Michael Holden, we played against. Uh, fast bowlers before and uh, Malcolm Marshall and we played against them in county cricket um, as well as test match cricket. Uh, Andy Roberts, of course. Um, so um, I would say that, you know, he was up there with, at, the, at the tops, yes, but he was so strong and it, he got this big bounce short of a length, which was very difficult to play uh, unless you stayed leg side of the ball, um, which, which the Greg and Notty did um, and, and wear him down, uh, uh, you know, Try, try and get used to the bounce yourself, wear him down, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. And then suddenly when you've got the pace and the bounce a bit more and your confidence is there, um, then you can start to uh, play it a bit better. England had lost the first two test matches. At Brisbane, Australia had won by 166 runs, despite a century by Tony Gregg. While at Perth, England were crushed by nine wickets. Jeff Thompson had taken nine wickets at the Gabba and seven at the Wacker. Now, the, the game, obviously, Boxing Day test, what, what did you do on Christmas Day? I mean, Colin Cowdery was arriving, I think, the day before. Yeah, I was trying to recollect that. And uh, I said to Jill, because the, the, our wives had come out with the children. Of course, we were getting, getting bashed by, by the press out there about bringing the kids. Look at these, these wimps. Uh, of England players, you know, bringing all their kids out. And I showed photographs of the kids with their teddy bears and things like that. Um, but we all got together with the wives and uh, and we had, we had, yeah, we had Christmas lunch together, which was, which was rather nice. So uh, um, that was super. So no nets on Christmas day. No nets on Christmas day. We had the day off. We worked hard the uh, prior to that. And, uh, um, and we were looking forward, but the weather was changing as well in, in Melbourne. I mean, you can have four seasons in a day there, as you probably know. Um, but and it was, I think it was quite cold uh, prior to that. But but Boxing Day, um, it was uh, the sun was out and it was quite hot. So 
amazing change in in, in uh, 24 hours, but it used to <laughs> they used to get all the seasons in one day. Well, Australia won the toss and they put England in. What was the feeling like when you're walking out? Was it different being a Boxing Day test? Yes, I mean, it's such a, you know, it's like, the, I can imagine how the Romans felt and the gladiators when they went out. <laughs> and all, all you can hear is, uh, um, uh, when I walked out, <laughs> is kill, 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 Amy's, kill, Amy's. You know, I, I was sort of thinking, oh my gosh, you know, and uh, but you've got to keep talking to yourself and saying, well, you know, it's a good wicket here at Melbourne. And we played on it against Victoria. Uh, and even though we got, we got Lillian Thompson, if we can see off the new ball and get in. And um, I think he did a little bit in the first innings. We were, did they bowled us out for... for uh, two four two. Yeah, an ordinary score. Yeah, that would be an ordinary score for Melbourne. So it, uh, the, there was a little bit in it, I think, uh, early on. And um, did Kip, 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 Colin played, I think, didn't he? Colin played, yeah. Colin played. Yeah. He got thirty-five, and you you <laughs> were caught. caught. You were caught. Walters bowled Lily for four. Yeah. Uh, in the in the, in the, well, Dougie in the normally co- <laughs> field did it cover, but I think he was probably in the slips. Uh, the uh, the umbrella field there, yeah, I should think. Uh, I, I I can't remember that that particular. Uh, obviously, nicked it to slip. I should think. Um, uh, Dennis was 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 a great bowler. He was a handful, especially with the new ball and uh, making you play all the time, and sometimes coming back into you, sometimes holding up, you know, towards the slips. Um, and uh, I was probably uh, just uh, just 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 one that carried on a bit. I nicked it to slip or something like that. I can't remember much about that one, but uh, anyway, Australia replied with two forty one, uh, and England. Actually, only had four bowlers, and one of the opening bowlers, uh, Mike Hendrick, uh, had a hamstring injury. So you only had Bob Willis as a medium yeah. pace bowler, and then Greggy supporting him with Fred Titmus and Derek Underwood. Yeah, and and Bob Bob was struggling, I think, in that in that series, wasn't he, with his knees? Um, and he ha- he had to come back home eventually during the series, I think. So we did have and, and, and Peter Lever um, was um, Plank was on that tour, I think, as well. Uh, I, th- I think he. Um, he gave his all in the Victoria match against Redpath and uh, uh, bowled really quick, but suffered a back, a back injury, I think, during during that period as well. So we were struggling with that pace bowling, yeah. And Bob was probably the quickest of the lot. Well, on England's second innings, um, you certainly came to the fore with, uh, with 90, your highest score in the series. And England scored... 244. What was the idea to set the Australians a target when we were, we were 2 0 down in the series? Yeah, we, we, we'd obviously got to uh, uh, set them a target and uh, hopefully, hopefully bowl them out. Um, yeah, I, 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 I made some bad decisions <laughs> under, under pressure that uh, uh, Lillian Thompson were putting me under, under pressure and um, Chapel, Chapel brought on Ashley Mallett. And I, and I think that I thought, well, I'll get. You know, I get my hundred, and then and then we're, you know they're going to take the new ball. But um, in trying to get my hundred, I think that uh, it was silly. I should have waited, waited for the new ball uh, because they could bowl. Not that they would bowl looseness. <laughs> they bowl, they would, their first ball was as quick as as quick as anything round your round your head. So, um, um, but I thought that um, if they did take the new ball, then possibly you know I might you know if the second new ball is. Uh, they were quite like the first new ball. They've been in the field all day. It was hot and everything. So uh, bad decisions. I, I I decided I chipped one, and uh, off Ashley Mallet and got out, which was a, you know, I have nightmares about now. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you did add 115 for the first wicket with David Lloyd. Yeah, yeah. It it, it was it had flattened out a bit. I can remember. You know, the sun had got on the wicket a bit uh, after that uh, um, little bit of moisture early on in the. Uh, in the first innings, and uh, it was a good wicket to bat on. Melbourne's probably the best batting wicket of the lot. Um, although the Aussies might say that, that the Perth was once you get over the pace of the pace and bounce, um, but um, um, which they like, I think uh, the Aussies. It was more like an English wicket, Melbourne. 
Say goodbye to your credit card rewards. Big box retailers, led by Walmart and Target, are pushing for a bill in Congress to take away your hard-earned cash back and travel points to line their pockets. Senate Bill 1838 would enact harmful credit card routing mandates that would end credit card rewards as we know it. If you love your credit card rewards, visit handsoffmyrewards.com and tell them to oppose credit card routing legislation paid for by the Electronic Payments Coalition. But looking back, getting 90 against that that attack, uh, Thompson got another four wickets in that innings. Must have been a sense of achievement. Yeah, I, I just felt I'd fail because, I, you know, I went to 100 and uh, obviously if I get 100, then you can go on and set them a bigger total and maybe uh, we, we'd have won the match. So uh, um, that was it was disappointing from, from, from my point of view. Um, but even though we, we posted a decent total, um, and um, if we could pressurise them, then maybe we could win it. And uh, we nearly did, I think, didn't we? Well, we either, did, side yeah. was, either side was a whisker away from winning in the end. That's correct, yeah. Australia was set 246 to win. Uh, they were five for two. They then recovered with a, a century stand between Greg Chaplin and Ian Redpath. They then were 121 for five. And they finished up seven short with two wickets left. At T, Australia were 145 for five, needing, needing 101 to win. And in the last over, as you said earlier, uh, an eight ball over, they needed 14 runs with three wickets left. Good game. Great game of cricket. It's one that it would have been lovely to have won uh, because that would have put us 2-1 in the series instead of t- still 2-0. Two, two and uh, Melbourne being uh, more like an English wicket, English conditions and everything. So... Uh, I think we were we were sort of disappointed that we we hadn't won that one, especially with what was to come. Um, yeah, you said what was to coming, then went on to lose the Sydney and Adelaide tests before winning yeah. the last test at, uh, at Melbourne, a game which uh, Dennis Lilly bowled six overs and Jeff Thompson didn't play. Was was the real difference, Dennis and and Jeff Thompson? Yeah, no, obviously that they were they were um, a fantastic. Uh, pair especially uh, um just for, for two or three years i think jeff thompson did his shouldering i think in a collision um shortly after that but up, up to that time against west indies and us they were in their pomp and dennis dennis went on and played a, a a long career and probably goes down as certainly one of the greatest fast bowlers of all time uh if not the uh greatest he's talked about arguably uh talked about as as being one of the best of all time. So, uh, um, and they, they were a handful under those conditions, especially Australian conditions. And, um, you know, it's all a mind game and everything. And uh, it, it, it all can get on top of you when it's not, uh, when it's not going uh, your way. Um, so, um, yeah, they, 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 they were the, the big difference and they, they kept going. If we, we had to sort of try and hold them in the field, hold them in the field, get them tired, that sort of thing. But they'd always, even though Greggy and Notty got their hundreds, they were always nibbling away and were able to keep going for the series. Yeah, Dennis Lilly got 25 wickets, Jeff Thompson 33. And it's yeah. hard to believe, you, you, you've mentioned it earlier, but how you can bat against that sort of bowling on those wickets with you know, very little protection. Yeah, with the helmets weren't out in those days. And, uh, um, you know, I think that Sir Leonard Hunton's words uh, at Sydney, when he sat there, he'd come over to to to, uh, to have a look. And, uh, you know, one of the greatest players ever, su- successful England captain, uh, been to Australia, won, won, won Ashes series, played against the, the great bowlers and Limwalls and the Millers and everybody. Um, to say that, you know, he put it into perspective. Uh, for me, because it wasn't it wasn't about body body line. It was it was up there. So uh, and that's why in uh, World Series cricket, when we went back a few years later, uh, I, I said to Greg, you know, we ought to wear a helmet, you know, uh, especially after Lillian Thompson seventy five. And he said, oh, ca- carried like that. He said, show us what you show us what you got. So we took over the motorcycle helmet, and that's how helmets started, of course. I did batting against the t- the pair. Did it leave some scars with some of the players? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah de- definitely, yeah, yeah. When when they came back, um, the, um, a couple of was it? Uh, did they, they seventy five? They came back uh, seventy five. They, they came back and 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 we wanted a flat wicket, 
at Edgbaston, and uh, there was rain around, and um, we we talked Mike Dennis into uh, uh, batting because rain was going to come. It was uncovered wickets that series, so we had to bat on 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 a, on a you know a fairly flat wicket. There might be a better seam in it, but it'd be low bounce at Edgbaston, uh, opposite to Australia. And if we could get our confidence back, and anyway, um, he was he was told under no one's circumstances uh, were we to bat. There was something in the wicket, and that we should bowl, and that was our downfall. Because after that, it rained, and we had Lillian Thompson on on a wet wicket at Edgbaston, which uh, which was Gucci's first. So he'll he'll, he'll uh, rem- remember that. Um, but we, we we all remember that, and uh, that was such a, a big mistake. We if only would have batted and got some confidence, and uh, that would have that would have, that's what we wanted after after uh, Australia, because we were all pretty. You know, you, you get mentally scarred. You can still see those balls. You still play those balls <laughs> that, that go past you. Those and uh, um, so um, to get round that, you need to bat and get some runs against them and get your confidence back again. And we could have done it, but it wasn't. I mean, history is just uh, amazing uh, that uh, that decision because uh, they batted and they got enough runs. Uh, I can't remember the score now, but they got. A, a decent total, and then it rained. And what were the relationships like between the two teams on and off the field in in the seventy four five series? It wasn't it wasn't easy because we were getting you know um, scarred and beaten and and uh, hit and uh, tormented by these two great fast bowlers, and it wasn't easy to go into the uh, Aussie dressing room afterwards if they, if they were in the field. You used to go into the fielding side. Dressing room, and uh, and they would come into ours, but they'd <laughs> they'd come in they'd come in their droves into ours because they were on top and winning. And of course, no, I'm not going. I can remember, you know, a few of us. I shan't mention that. Well, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> so we uh, we had a rotor in the end of uh, of people going in, and uh, I always uh, tried tried to go in, but uh, it was hard. <laughs> but of course, the two fast bowlers were, were, would growl at you when you went in. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to admire people like uh, Colin Cowdery, who was 42 when he was flown out for yeah. that series. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because he played uh, as well as anybody. And uh, um, to see him at uh, Perth on that quick bouncy wicket, I'd, I'd got my thumb broken in the first Test match at Brisbane. I had two, two hit me right on the end of the thumb. That thumb, right thumb, two consecutive balls, and it, it cracked it, so I couldn't play at Perth. Not a bad one to miss uh, uh, against those two on that on that wicket with it bouncing and going through. And and Colin played uh, uh, so well, leaving it alone, leaving it alone, and which you had to do when you first go in and get the pace and the bounce, which I talked about earlier. Um, and uh, just did as, as well as anybody. I think he, he, he got a forty somewhere. I think he did. He? Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it was it was good. And uh, but you know they they. It's always the same, isn't it? Those people who have the the best fast bowlers um, win the win, win the matches. But not only did you play a Boxing Day test, you also played on Christmas Day. Although you actually didn't bat yourself, you were already out against India in 1972, 50 years ago. What can you remember about Christmas Day cricket? Gosh, now you're taking me back to um, whose tour was it? With? In India. This is Tony Lewis. Tony Lewis. Yes, um, Tony Lewis yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that 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 was a struggle for us as well because we were playing against um, um, some exceptional spinners. They had the four of them, didn't they? Bishan Singh Bedi, Chandrasekhar, Venkat, and Prasanna. And uh, um, I don't think all four would play, but certainly three would play. And we'd have one over either end with a new ball from the seamers, and then. The field would be all around the bat, and, and it would bounce and turn from the word go. So that 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 was really was it. Delhi, we played that at Christmas Day. Yes, or, it was Delhi. Yeah, Delhi Christmas Day. Yeah. England won by six wickets um, with Tony Lewis and Tony Gregg at batting at the end. Oh my God! You were out overnight. You see, it's it's fifty years ago. So I'll, yes, I'll excuse yeah. you. We struggled. We lost the series, though, didn't we? You did. Yeah. 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 But we won that first test. In you won Delhi, that did. first test. You won that test at Delhi. Yeah, yeah. Because he bounced the the, the, the the other wickets. They bounced and turned, and it's something we'd never seen before. Um, and it was difficult to play. But you know, Greggy again, 
what a cricketer he was. And Fletcher, I think they got hundreds each at Bombay and they showed us how to play. And, uh, you know, just, just hope that when the ball does bounce and turn, you know, you, you miss it. And they, they both got, they played uh, um, so well. But we'd lost, we'd, we'd lost the series. But we went back, we went back um, in 76, I think it was, under Tony Gregg. And uh, we turned the tables because most of us have been there the previous trip with Tony Lewis and uh, we'd had that experience. So uh, it stood us in good stead and we got off to a good, uh, a good start at Delhi again. Uh, and uh, that was a, a pretty good wicket. Later on it turned, but it didn't turn from the word go. So we were able to get our confidence back, which is how I was talking about Australia. We wanted our confidence back against Lillian Thompson. Well, thank you very much, Dennis, for remembering uh, a Boxing Day Ashes test and also a Christmas Day test match. And uh, <laughs> thanks for sharing your what was it like to moment. Yeah, no, pleasure, pleasure, Stephen. And uh, always uh, good to talk cricket, even though uh, uh, <laughs> they weren't some of the most successful days that, uh, that we had. But uh, um, like, sport is like that, isn't it? Life is like that. It's, it's up and it's down. and you, you have to take the knocks with the uh, with the good stuff. So uh, yeah, I was very lucky um, having thirty years as a player, twenty years as an administrator. Uh, I was very very lucky and enjoyed it. But I love I love watching this side now, this present day side. I think the way they're playing uh, their cricket is just wonderful to watch. And long may it last, because uh, you know the way they're going. If they can do that and they have a bit of luck against the Aussies next year, who knows what they can do. Well, that's a very good way to end the podcast. Thank you, Dennis. Okay, Stephen. Pleasure. Thank you for listening to The Paddock and the Pavilion. You can download the show on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, SoundCloud, Stitcher and Spotify. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at The Pad and Pav. Don't forget, if you like the show, please do leave us a rating and review. Sports Social Podcast Network. Let's face it, most people aren't making massive turkey feasts on the regular, and after 364 days of not thinking about it, it can be hard to get that bird just right. That's where Instacart, the holiday rescue app, comes in. From getting all the ingredients to prep a full seasonal spread to getting last-minute swamps in a turkey emergency, Instacart has everything a holiday host needs to save face and save dinner. And right now, if you download Instacart, you get free delivery on your first three orders and delivery in as fast as one hour. Offer valid for a limited time. $10 minimum per order. Additional terms apply.